Hey folks, good morning. So this is Saturday, November 28th. It's about 7.15 a.m. Uh, I'm over here in Cape Coral today. A uh, rescue, like literally a bee rescue call. Uh, rescuing the homeowners in this case. Uh, we have bees that are underneath a little gardening bench. Uh, without further ado, uh, let me show you. See here, we have the gardening bench. There's potters and stuff that got tipped over. Bees are on the inside here. Uh, my plan is to just move these planters out of the way. I'm gonna see if I can tip up that, that seat to see if there's anything in there that I can empty. And then, and then I'll pick the whole thing up and move it away. Uh, it's slotted here underneath. You can see it looks like there's a lot of hoses. So instead of doing the removal process here where there's a safety risk, I'm going to relocate it to one of my bee yard areas and, uh, and go from there. So again, I'm just going to start by removing these uh, little pots. It's a horizontal high, folks. So, I'm gonna see if I can just pick the whole thing up and move it. I know their comb is attached, so I can't open the thing, so let me see if I can just pick it up. And just like that, uh, through the magic of editing, we got foragers, obviously. That's to be expected. <clears throat> This was heavier than expected with all that comb in there. Threw a sheet over there to kind of keep the bees from flying away. So we'll see what happens. At least they're away. So I'll take these to the bee yard and we'll see what's going on. I did a quick uh, rearranging. The colony I had sitting here is now just moved over here on this stand. So I got uh, four hives on this stand here. They're all active, they're all good. This one is really light, so I most likely have to condense, uh, move this top to the bottom. I'm gonna rotate all these boxes. Like You see how these are different color? I'm gonna paint this, I'm gonna paint that one. I'm gonna rotate these bottom boards out. I'm gonna rotate all this old equipment out to get at least all to match. That chair you see is over here, or the bench, whatever you want to call it. These bees are just hauling in all kinds of all kinds of pollen here. All active colonies. I'm very happy to, to see that so far. But uh, these bees, they're orienting. Uh, this did come down a little bit, so I think when it tipped over, uh, the door kind of opened. So it's sitting flush now. I don't think any of the comb fallen. I set an empty nuke box here. There is five wax-coated frames uh, in, inside of here, so in case I want to start going up in the box, I'll, I'll let them. Uh, it's going to need a 10-frame box, I believe, just for the space so they can grow into it. I'd like to reclaim the bench if possible, but it is old and weathered. So, I mean, if I can open up 
the bench hinges are right here so I can very slowly try to open up the the bench door and just cut the comb out I can't really widen it out because the the, the comb is is tied to the top so I can't really open this full way because the comb gets in the way but I can open it enough to at least cut the comb on the top it might fall a little bit but I think if I'm careful enough I can do it uh, right now I just got to be cautious of robbing so that's why phase one is just get them relocated so they're out much better area now instead of that crowded neighborhood with neighbors right next to you people you know being in the risk of getting stung better to relocate it to the bee yard I got all the time I need to work on them I did take a couple of cinder blocks and I put it on the ground so the bench is up off the dirt um, so that'll kind of help the wood a little bit so again I don't know we'll see how it goes it's still hot down here in Florida. We got about 84 degrees, so it's it's still great weather for bees. Um, that colony there in the uh, bench, there's drones flying in there. Uh, lots of good weather down here. I need to get get my act together and start grafting, but I just got way too much to do right now. It is what it is, so I hope you all have fun and hope you all stay warm. And I really do hope all of your bees maintain healthy and achieve success over your winter. And I'm looking forward to spring, but right now I'm kind of hoping that things stay a little calm. And I'm really enjoying this cooler weather down here in southwest Florida. Take care.